I feel like some marriages, mm. people treat their husbands like their father. Yes, and we're back in the building. It's another video. Yes. It's another video. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're back here with somebody familiar. Yes. You remember her from the last video? Of course. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. If you didn't go back and check out the video, yeah, it's, it's right up here. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. Anyway. Okay, so today we're doing another chat. Yes. Bella is going to introduce the chat. Mm -hmm. But obviously, we started a segment called Auntie Chat. So we just ask our African aunties all of these questions that we've been wondering about. So, exactly. yeah. So, because we liked Auntie Foster so much in the previous video, she's back again. Yes. So, today we're chatting about traditional teachings and are they outdated? Why are they important? And what are they about? Like, what's the chat there, you know? Guys, if you can hear the dogs, don't mind the dogs. <laughs> Yeah, yes, Bella's yeah. neighbors yeah. have dogs and it's so annoying. Please like, don't, judge, don't judge the dogs, just let the dogs be dogs anyway, as we chat. Okay, yeah. cool. So, what are we going to start with? I think let's start at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, what are traditional teachings? Yeah, what are they? So, according to you, what according do you, to me, you, yeah. yeah. Uh, traditional uh, teachings are like more like guidelines mm -hmm. on how to go about your marriage. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they're like teachings. Yeah. Yes. That yeah. Give you sanity uh -huh. and give direction of how to go about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's like a template that you can use when you don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go back to it and refer back to those yes. specific steps. teachings on how to treat your spouse. Yeah. yeah. How to treat the family. Uh -huh. Yeah. How to go about certain things. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Nice. Got it. Yes. Okay. So now the 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 bulk question in this mm -hmm. one is whether do you feel like they're necessary in the modern and obviously there's some that are just like so obvious like oh yes you know like yeah. you know you know some are even like from a biblical standpoint yeah. and you know it makes sense like yeah. okay don't do this or do this or whatever mm -hmm. it is but then there's some that i've heard and i'm like i beg your pardon i beg your pardon what? Mm. So maybe they would have applied before, yes. yeah. but now do you feel like some of them are necessary for the for today. modern day? Yeah. For today, okay, I feel like uh, way back, mm -hmm. there were too, what's the word? There were too much, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then there are things that you can pick from there, mm -hmm. and there are things that you, okay, based on your maybe religion, you can say, okay, yeah. for me as a Christian, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. no, I can't. Yeah. 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 But most of them teach you a lot of things. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like, uh, they teach you on how to just like I said, treat mm -hmm. your spouse, go mm -hmm. about certain things, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. like guide you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, are some of them necessary, or do you feel like we should just the, the, pick out the ones we want to use for no. ourselves, mm -hmm. or take it all and be like, okay, this is all it is. Mm -hmm. I can ride with it. What do you feel would make more sense? They are necessary, but then, they, just like I said. Mm -hmm. Uh, depending on who you are as a person, mm -hmm. there's certain things that you say, okay, as a Christian, mm -hmm. I cannot you take this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe okay. mm -hmm. this one, but definitely, those were definitely you need them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, they'll, okay. they'll keep you sane. Yeah, <laughs> like, okay, like what, but what are like the weird ones that you've heard and you've just been like, I beg your pardon? I don't even the remember. Teachings. I don't even remember some of these teachings, mm -hmm. no, but I can't tell you yeah. why. But then, <laughs> And suppose that's like a the marriage no? one. Mm -hmm. the marriage no? one. Okay, all right, you cool. You when you get there, but okay. you definitely need them. They help yeah. you in a lot of things. Yeah. On. They teach you how to behave, mm -hmm. and they just like you know you respect your culture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you feel like some of these teachings are more directed towards the wife? Mostly yes. Why? 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 For me, that's where the problem comes because do they have teachings for the men? They yes, do. They okay. do. Yeah, they but I just also feel like they are not as many. Like even mm, yes. when the talks that we go through, mm. we that you've gone <laughs> through, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, the, yeah, the talks that like happen yeah. before marriage, yeah. Yeah. I feel like the woman has more extensive, like in depth, like mm. you know this and this and no. the home and. I think what, what you're trying mm. to say is uh, a woman's teaching maybe. You say it takes maybe two weeks mm. or one month, mm. Mm. and then maybe for a man it's just a day or two. I think that's what that's where she's coming. What from, is right? the reason so for one me, week? Yes, so I'm like, why? 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 
why mm -hmm. why do they not also have preach right like this don't do this don't mm -hmm. do that mm -hmm. like i i feel like that's why in most marriages yes there's marriages where like the wife makes a mistake but, but a mistake but i feel like most of the time it's the man that drops the ball i know the power of patriarchy that's where the problems will, will start yeah, from yeah. and then you now will be taken to your family to be reminded yes. what you're supposed to yes <laughs> So why? Yeah, so why? Why? Yes. Like why are most of these directed towards the woman? Yes, because most of them say the woman is the keeper, or rather, is that the word I can use? Mm. But so me, I need to be kept. Of what? She runs the household. Yes, yes but me, yes. who, who, you know, yes. keeps me. Uh -huh. Apart from the Lord Jesus. Hello. Who else is yes. holding me? Who else is, who, is my man being yes. taught also? Yes, how... they're being taught. But, but for a day. day. Yeah, for a day. Oh no, for maybe a week, not even say a day. Okay. Maybe for a week. I just feel like there needs to be some balance. I feel you know like it needs saying? to be the same. If I'm going for a two week course, also, also you, you need to go for the two week course. Go for so two the qualifications are the same. It can never be equal. Um, it can just never be equal. That you should know. It can Ooh. just never be. It's reality. Why? 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 All I'm never saying is catch me at 35 <laughs> getting married. Don't tell my mom. She will slap me. She's watching like oh, hey. so between now and 35. Yeah. Man comes, you should refuse me. No, that's not what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's I a want job. to be witness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to know. Baby said 35. Mm -hmm. But guys, okay, I just feel like I need to be mentally prepared for some of these traditional teachings mm -hmm. because a lot of it has to do with you being humble. And I'm not humble like that yet. That's mm -hmm. why I'm saying catch me at 35 getting married because I want you to be able to get into a space where I know the purpose of it and what to take out of it and what to leave behind. Right now, I don't think I'm ready for them. Yeah, and, and I, I just feel like, like it's, a, it's a mental thing, as you said, like yeah. it's a mental thing and it's also like a maturity thing. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like yeah. we're at a stage where, well, like we're not very young, but mm -hmm. we're, we're quite selfish right yeah. now with our time, with what yeah. we're trying to yeah. do. Yeah. So like, to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. like, I don't see myself now Oh, not like submitting like i mean if it happens it happens you learn yeah, that these yeah. things come you know instinctively yeah. but at the same time i just don't feel like i'm ready to just make myself what reduce what? myself <laughs> <laughs> reduce myself no, you don't have to reduce yourself okay. you just have to adjust to certain things okay. yes you that's understand? the thing that needs maturity. Uh, an example that i can give you is, yeah you know, like now, you guys stay alone, eh? Mm. Yeah. You make decisions alone. Mm. Yes. Today, you decide, okay, I want to travel, you can travel. Yeah. Mm. But when you get married, mm. it's about the two of you. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes. You need to remember those things. Yeah. Yes. So you need yeah. to decide between you and... You can't just get up and say, oh, I'm okay, going. I'm going to do You need this. to discuss yeah. with your husband. Yeah. yeah. So, and I guess, Auntie Foster, even with some of these teachings, mm. you, obviously, you get taught as your, the woman, and then your husband also gets taught yeah. whatever he gets taught. Then you come together and you decide, mm. isn't it? Like, mm -hmm. yes. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Right? You yeah. definitely decide. Okay. Because yeah. even, the, just like I said, I can never be... There are things that I can say to yeah. know this one. Even mm -hmm. men are like, mm, mm, yeah, this no, one. This one doesn't yeah. Make sense. yeah. Okay, that's good so because you, you have to come and agree. Even if you know the woman gets three weeks and your man only gets a week, still come together yes, and agree decide. and yeah. decide. Like mm. this is what I learned. What did you learn? How can mm. we actually create yes. a foundation where we're mutually respecting yeah. each other? Mm. Oh. So I feel like for me, like mm. in the context of marriage and whatever, the thing that gives me the come at peace mm. is if my partner they come at peace. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got my peace. Just got my peace. Because I'm yeah. very scared about yeah. these things, you yeah. know. Like, cause I wasn't raised. Like, I've been yeah. raised around like traditional things happening, but yeah. you know, like I've never really been in within, you know, yes. to be like do this and do this and yes. this. So yeah. like, if I know that if I have a partner that's understanding, mm -hmm. a, a partner that's willing to compromise, mm -hmm. yeah. then it's fine. And this is the reason why I feel like I can't marry like a super traditional person. Mm -hmm. Because you're just like, hey, go down new, pick up the the cooking thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it doesn't happen. You see? Okay, uh, good. Uh, you see, guys, you happen. have a nice marriage. No, and because you have happen. a boo who understands yeah. you. Mm -hmm. he understands For me, this is the anointing that yes. I need. Tap. Please. Tap. There we go. I Let's have received the anointing. Yes, <laughs> that's the anointing that I need. Yes. Yeah, because if you have a person that's understanding and, yeah. you, and you are also somebody that's able to communicate, yes. and you, then you meet each other mm -hmm. in the middle. For me, that's what I need. Mean. Me too. So the thing Oof. is, yeah. uh, you just have to get married to your friend. That's why your husband has to be your friend. But for four, someone who gets that? you. 
because you hear it you... here on channel yellow right <laughs> yeah this is an person. african he and yes. marry your friend. friend be free to talk to them yeah don't feel like you know i feel like some marriages mm. people treat their husbands like their father you know mm. uh, way back we used to be scared wow, of our father that's true. like that's true <laughs> that is coming mm. you know yes. but your husband like, oh he's coming hi mm. be yourself mm. and be you get married mm. to someone who's accepted you for mm. you mm. and who understands you I think that's the most important thing. Ulusto. Chapo, we can even go home and sleep yeah. now. Good night. Good night. <laughs> bye, bye. bye. <laughs> no, yes. but correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah. I love so that. So don't mm. be scared. Yeah. It's, it's nothing complicated. Mm. Okay. You know, be, be, we are all different. Mm. This one will tell you, know me, this is. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's about the two of you and yeah. how you communicate yeah. and the person you're getting married to. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. exactly. So you just have to take your time, find that person. Right. That friend. Right. Don't do it under pressure. Yeah. I'm just glad that you guys are not in No, no, no we're, we're not, not running. We're not we're running. Just take yeah. your time. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Definitely. Okay. Oh, I'm satisfied. This Once again. Correct. Come on. Correct yes. advice. Thank so you. if there's anyone that needed to hear this, yeah. let us know what you guys thought about some yeah. of the comments we made, yeah. about some of the things that we talked about today. Mm-hmm. Just drop us a comment mm-hmm. and let us know where you stand, what yes. you feel, what your fears are, what your opinions are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, until next time, I until guess that is the time. end of the video. Yes. Thank you for joining us once again, Auntie Foster. Yes, Auntie Foster. You're welcome, my darling. No, yes. yes. she's the best. <laughs> okay, so we'll catch you guys in the next one. Yes. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. In the next one. See you in the next one.